everyone, and welcome to 1923 Main Street. Home of the Daddy Daughter Disney Travel Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bello Braddock. And I'm Amelia Bello Braddock. And today, we're going head to head Disneyland versus Walt Disney World. Similar ride and attractions. Oh, yeah. Let's jump right into it. This is sort of like a this or that episode, but what we wanted but to better. do, but better. So, as you know, there are many attractions that are identical in name and nature, but not necessarily fully identical or pretty close the same. So we're going to start looking at those and see which ones. And to be honest, I mean, we made the list up (laughs) and prep for the show, but I haven't really thought through these. So I'm going to be doing it on the fly because some of them for me are pretty close. I'm preparedness at its best. In other words, I don't even know my own answers. That's reassuring. Well, we're going to find out. So let's start with one of your favorite attractions. We'll jump right in. Actually, it's a ride, I would say, and it is Big Thunder. Thunder. Mountain Railroad. Disneyland version versus Walt Disney World version. Hmm. You know, I'm going to have to say Disneyland. Really? I am going to disagree and say Walt Disney World version. And why is that? I, to be honest, I think it's just familiarity. I will say this before, well, I'll let you answer in a second for you, but I will say this for some of these, when they're really close for me, I sort of tend to go towards the Disney, well, that's not always true. I was going to say the Disney World version because we go there a lot more, but there are some that are the opposite. So I just discounted my own line of thought. So forget everything I just said, but I'm still going Disney World. Why do you like Disneyland's version better? I think the exact opposite of what you just said. I think it's a bit different, so I like it, it when it, it sort of it switches it up. Yeah, it is different. For me, I like I don't know, I just I like different and I feel like it has more like drops. And I would versus say there's more turns, which I prefer drops, so Yeah. Personally. And and you know what? They're both good. Yeah, this is no, one of the ones, really yeah. Good. This is one of the ones where I say there's no huge winner for yeah. me. I like them both. And I also want to say one thing, this is not Disney World and Disneyland, but Disneyland Paris. Big Thunder, huge winner. Oh, yeah. You can't Miles even Miles above the rest. It's the number one Big Thunder <laughs> on the globe, on the oh, planet. Oh, yeah. It's far better than the <laughs> so other So if you're going to Disneyland Paris, you will love Please, Big Thunder. Please, we went on it like three times in yeah, our three-day it's, it's way longer, way more thrills and chills, so it's, it's a good one. But yes. between these two, so we're split on this one. But we'll both admit they're both good. Yeah. Right? We like this them both. This next one yeah. we're going to agree, at least I hope. I don't think we're going to agree. What is the next one? We're Space Mountain. Space Mountain. We're keeping in the roller coaster vein. Mm. Which one do you like better? World. Oh, I thought you were going to say land. No, world is okay. much, much better. Well, here's the thing. A lot of people, I think we might be on the low side from what I've just read out in the universe. So everyone listening, I want to know when I tweet about this this week, if you follow us at 1923 Main Street, let us know what you think. Maybe I'll make a little poll for this one because I like Disney World better too. And I will admit it's more jerky. Yeah. You know, it's... it's. And it really depends what you like in a roller coaster. Because I went on um, Space Mountain in Disneyland when I was like younger because I couldn't go on the one in Disney World. That's right. Because it was like, it was... It's a different seat structure, yeah. right? You're side by side. And it's e- it's almost an easier ride. It's a smoother ride, yeah, I think. Yeah, which is why I like um, Space Mountain in Disney World better because it's less kid-like, if that makes yeah. sense. Like, you know, it's it more thrill and, and I think it's why a lot of people don't like it because you and I both like it's it is herky jerky. It's you know it's almost fifty years old now, which is amazing. And really, yeah. in Disney World, <laughs> yeah, opened in 1975, so it's getting up there. Wow. And but it does bang around the corners, but not as bad as some other things I've been on that you know you just can't ride for me at least. But that's why Mummy's not a huge fan of it. She likes Disneyland's version better. It's smoother. You sit She's side by side. She's not a roller coaster person. She's not generally a roller coaster person. Yeah, she won't do anything. You know, Everest is about as extreme as she'll get, or rocking, but she won't do anything. You know, outside of Disney, that's really extreme. But okay, so I was surprised. I thought you were going to go Space Mountain Disneyland, which no. I do like, but eh, not nearly as much for me. This one is much clearer. Uh, Disney World, yeah. whereas Big Thunder, I could go either way. And mm-hmm. to your point. I want to say the same thing that I did. Yeah, go ahead. Disneyland Paris. Yeah. 
it goes upside down. It's sort of you more like you can't even compete with that. Yeah. Dis- like so hyperspace US mountain. Disney's, the, come on. The space mountain in Paris is more like rock and roller coaster in some ways. It starts. It's like inside and outside. It's cool. It's like miles. Like yeah, there's a lot of good stuff there. This is it's turning it into like, a three park episode. <laughs> I think those are the only ones, but it it goes upside down. Like, can we elaborate on this one, Disney? What? You know, why can't we just redo the ride? No, but you know what? This is what I like. And this is sort of what this episode's all about. But it goes upside down. I know, but isn't it better that they're not exactly the same at all the parks? When it goes upside down, no. You know, it gives you something to look forward to. It's not exactly the same footprint and park everywhere you go. why can't the good stuff be at Disney World? There is some good stuff. But it goes upside down. Well, that just makes us have to go back to France. Okay, now this next one... Also could be tough. It's a small world. It's a world of laughter. Which one? World of cheers. Do you prefer? Don't hate me, don't hate me, Disneyland. Oh, same here. Now, there's a lot of reasons. It's the original. How can <laughs> you're you, gonna disagree. How can you not like the actual like, original? It's sort of like I mean, I know all of these other rides or a lot of them are sort of copying Disneyland because it was first. But I feel like Small World is such a classic ride that to redo it, you sort of take away it, its classicness. Yeah. And, and, you know, the Disney World one's okay. And we do like going it's, it's on good. it. It's good. It's good. But here's some of the other reasons I, I also like Disneyland better. At Disneyland, they they sort of change up the dolls in there they sometimes they put princesses or they'll put seasonal ones and i don't really think they do that as much at disney world so i like they make that the, could also be just because you go at the same type of no, time of year every year no we're at christmas at disney world and i and you know and you don't and even throughout the year you don't see ariel or popped in there like they do they just do different they things do at, disneyland. at disneyland yeah so you just see better than i got, thought you don't pay attention I, I, re- I, I really like the don't. boarding. I like the way it's outside. I just, yeah, yeah it, it is. The boarding, and, and like, because you get to see the park and you get to see them, they come by. And it looks so like nice it. outside, at, especially at night, nicely lit up. So, okay, you know, all these things I think <laughs> that you're going to yeah, say, you, you just don't. have this perception of me. You're surprising me a little bit. Now, I'm going to switch it up for this next one, just for this one. Because we stay. I want you to go first also. Okay, we stay at two favorites. So this time we're going to do hotels because we typically stay at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa in Disney World, but we stay at the Grand Californian. So here you have the two top tier. Two grands. The two grands, World and Land. And Floridian and Californian. This one. I just realized Floridian, like Florida, Californian. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Realization on <laughs> And air. it's not early in the morning, folks, either, so she has no excuse. Okay, I am going to go Floridian. I prefer the Grand really? Floridian. I'm going to have to disagree with you on this one. What? You prefer the Don't Grand Californian? Me. Don't hate me. Why? I must ask you why. Well, I want to hear why. You like okay, the Okay, so... The Grand Floridian to me has a lot of history. We grew up, uh, you know, ever since I remember when it wasn't there. It's I remember when it was built. No, but for me, I said at Disney World. See, I don't have that. (laughs) But I also like the fact that it's a much more spread out uh, sort of. There's there's more grassy grounds area, whereas the Grand Californian is more closed in. Oh, I know why you like yeah, it, but I'll let you say. That, but I don't, I don't know what you're getting at, but. Well, I like the wide open spaces at the Grand. I know I don't Floridian. know what you're getting at, but oh, why I like. Okay, well, I'll see if I'm right. Californian, but I was say I don't know. I feel like I really like the um, decor at the Grand Californian. I love the wilderness sort of thing in Disney World. I doesn't, I don't feel has any like really good hotels that you can stay at with that. What about Wilderness Lodge or Animal Would Kingdom? Would you want to go back to either of those hotels no. and stay there? No. Well, my yeah. my point exactly. Possibly lodge, but yeah, po- possibly. Not so not likely is what I'm hearing. But not, not likely. A lot, and I really, I just like the design, and I love how it enters into the park. That's what I thought you were gonna say. Well, come on. No, no, it, it's it, so it, easy. It is. And the Grand Floridian now they're making a walkway, and that you had to walk. Like, yeah. Whereas <laughs> Grand Californian is literally yeah. right into the middle uh-huh. of Disney California Adventure Park. So easy. And the pool's great there, too, I just want to add. And yeah, the well, food by the pool. 
Oh. Yeah. Wow, you're reading my mind. I was going to say that too. Now, this is an edge for Grand California. Both Grands that, have great food. Is it called food. the Craftsman Grill? Oh, don't quote me here, folks. I can't remember. It opened I think, recently. I think so. It's that poolside open air restaurant. Great pizza, brick oven. You know, a really, really good addition. Yeah. I mean, that used to be just grass, like a little strip of grass, I think. And they really did a great job at the Grand California. It also that. has Napa Rose. Yes, it has great restaurant. Actually, yeah. Napa Rose, where it is actually good still. It's yeah. really good. Okay, so as we're talking, I guess I do find it closer than I think, but it's, I'm going... It's, a very, it's very close, but I think I'd have to slightly give... Californian? Yeah, Californian Whereas an edge, for although me, the steps at the Grand Floridian... Yeah, they're both really good. They so are. They're both miles above, I think, have, any of the other If you have <laughs> never stayed at either one of these resort hotels and you're listening, you cannot go wrong with either one, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, both the Grand Florida. Really and depends Grand what land you're going to, so don't base what world or land based on the hotel, people. Yeah, great. <laughs> Not so, that anyone does that, but you know. So we're split on that one too. Okay, here's another good one. This is a show. Fantasmic. Fantasmic. So let me set the stage. Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios is in a special sort of defined area yeah. where you have to go and there's stands and you watch and you can get advanced. Mm. Whereas Phantasmic at Disneyland yeah. Park is on, on the, the rivers water. of America. The seating, the, a, the seating is sort da, of da, da, just on the natural da, da, parts da, da. of the park. So for me... Land is miles above land, world. I agree. Phantasmic at no Disneyland robots. is the winner. Are we we both agreeing on yeah. this one? Yeah, I mean... Can you really disagree with that? I, I have to say, I don't even like going to Fantasmic at Walt Disney World. No, In fact, see, we haven't... No, that's a little harsh for me. No, I just, I don't enjoy it because it's it seems more stressful. We're having to get the seating and yeah. even, even the seating you get with your restaurant booking packages and all that stuff is not very good. The only time you get good seating at these is if you do a VIP tour, <laughs> which is when, you know, we had great seating at Disneyland. Um... It's more wide open, I think, at Disneyland in terms of seating, the way it's set up. I just like the I like the whole scene. It's on basically Tom Sawyer Island, the river area. You know, it's just really nice. So, Fantasmic Disneyland, we're both on that side. Yeah, it's, I can't. I really don't know in a single argument that puts Hollywood Studios Fantasmic ab above California. I really can't even think of one. I guess it would just be for someone maybe. Uh, I don't know, history and memories, like for me, nostalgia I guess. could be, but yeah, I would find it hard and I'd love to hear someone. Okay. Again, if you're listening and you have been to both and you prefer Hollywood studios, I'd love to hear the reasons why. Cause I, yeah, I agree. I can't really think of any. We just, I just mentioned Tom Sawyer Island. So let's do the two Tom Sawyer Island, Walt Disney World, okay. Tom Sawyer Island, Disneyland. What do you think? You have the history. Uh, and there is history, so let me start by saying this. The Big Sway, if you're a Disney historian <laughs> from our DNA Which episode, Tom Sawyer Island Disneyland was the only attraction that Walt Disney designed on his own. He designed the yeah. whole thing, so no it really has that sense of history to it. However, for me, and this is not just nostalgia, Tom Sawyer Island Walt Disney World is a clear winner. Yeah. And I just, I like it for a number of reasons. The fort is so much better. There's more area to more, wander. I think they put more thought into it. Yeah, it seems that almost, way. Or they, or they took Walt's idea and they just expanded on it so much. They did everything they could to fix it and it just created a much better product. It's yeah. sort of like, you know what it is? It's basically like Disneyland was sort of like the first draft and then Disney World was like the final product. It's that, true, but, that makes look, sense. but it, it does for that island. But yeah. some of the other stuff, we're saying the opposite, right? Like, for example, mm -hmm. you'd think, oh, well, they could have made it to Small World so much better. I don't know how, but but they <laughs> didn't. And on some of these other ones we're going to talk about. So, yeah, definitely Walt Disney yeah. World, Tom Sawyer Island. Obviously. And I hope they don't mess with that and no, <laughs> with any don't. of this stuff. I mean, unless they're messing with it to add the paintbrushes back, because I want to do that now. Yes, the old time magic. I really, really want to do that. So... Okay. Moving on. It is it is October now, so this one's timely. Haunted Mansion. 
Okay, I'm not sure where you stand on this, but I have an answer. Okay, why don't you begin? Haunted Mansion Disneyland, which which is a different building altogether, different design, and Haunted Mansion Walt Disney World. You prefer which? Disneyland. Whoa, why? (laughs) Do not hate me. And we were just there last year for the 50th. I think it's the same reason as Disney World and Small World. For me, I just think that it's the original, and I think they tried to recreate it and change it up a little bit, but I just don't think it worked as well as they were originally. Okay, so for me, planning. you know what it is for me, thinking about that, because I'm, I'm going to say something. I'll, well, since it's October, I'm going to say one thing they do at Disneyland is they put the sort of Jack yes. Skellington. They actually change the inside of the Haunted Mansion for Halloween. They do it up. And they don't, they don't do, do that. that at Disney World that we've ever seen. And yeah. we've been there for Halloween many times. Multiple. However, I personally feel the actual mansion from the outside yeah. and everything is much spookier. And it and it goes more with you know, the yeah, looking f- spooky the looking feel of the, of the ride haunted mansion. The actual ride or not. Eh, it's yeah. Aside by the outside of the ride. It's part of the experience. But, but, for but me. it's not, though. It is for me. You can't tell me how I feel. <laughs> well, I don't experience it at all. I barely even look at the mansion. Oh, so. I don't. I take lots of pictures of them. And yes. They're both they're both good again. So here we are. We're split on quite a few. Yeah, I, I go Haunted yeah. Mansion Walt Disney World for sure. Although I do like the other one, and I do like similar to Small World, how they just change the uh, scenery inside, the scenes, every now and then for certain times of the year. So I think that's pretty cool. All right. Okay, I think we're going to... Another October one. I think we're going to agree on this one. Oh, yeah. I really, I really would love to find someone who disagrees with... And it is what? Pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean. Disneyland version versus Walt Disney World version. Clear winner Disneyland. Why? There's multiple drops. Come on. I don't even care about the scenery. It's the drops that I love. It's it's like a roller coaster, and then you get splashed, and it's awesome. There are multiple drops. It's much longer. It's longer, and the drops are better. The drops are better. Even the worst drop at land is way better yeah, than the one longer. at world. Yeah, it's longer. There's more scenes. And also the beginning, going by Blue Bayou. Oh, I, yeah. You know how it starts, right? You bored, but you're, you're indoors with the I restaurant. I love eating at Blue Bayou also. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun to eat. But even when the restaurant, like once we went on, it was after Fantasmic. It was yeah. very late at night, and the restaurant was closed. But it was almost spookier because all the tables still had candles yeah. lit, but there was no one in there. So I like the sort of intro to the ride there better uh, all around. So yeah, the original Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. is better. And you know, the fun fact is they did not originally have Pirates of the Caribbean at Walt Disney World. Yeah. And then everybody said, "What? why is there no Pirates of the Caribbean? And the Imagineers <laughs> did not put it in because they thought that Florida was too close to the Caribbean and it wouldn't be unique or cool. People wouldn't like it because Florida's basically in the Caribbean yeah. almost, right? So so they had to quickly put it in. And that's probably why maybe, you know, they had to dig down and yeah. make it. So that's why they couldn't dig down two levels. So there's not as many drops. It's shorter. Those are probably the reasons yeah, why. But, you know, maybe if they refurbished it now, then maybe they could make it. I don't know. It'd be it a lot of work. A bit better. I don't know. I just... I feel like they, yeah, they rushed it. That's that's probably what it is. They definitely, they rushed it. And I just, I don't think they should have because the fine. I like, like, I don't even like to go on it at Disney World that much. But whenever we go to land, I love going on it. I like it's just, it, but. It's just more fun. Like, it's sort of boring to me at World. Yeah, I, I will say it is, it, it is a clear winner in Disneyland. Again, if you yeah. haven't been on both, trust us. <laughs> There's no comparison. If you love the one in Florida, you'll go crazy when you go on the Disneyland Pirates yeah. version. All right, I'm switching it up again okay. to something totally different. Main Street, USA, Disneyland versus Walt Disney World. Ooh, I don't, can I tie them? Can I tie N- them? No, I'm going to force you to pick. Hey. There must be something that pulls one way or another. I just think they're different. They are different. That's why I'm they're very different and that's why I can't really hear them because they're both like, like the nostalgic like Disney shops and stuff. But I think I'm going to have to go land on this one. Oh, I think I'm going to have to go land on this one too. 
I was going to say, if you're going world, I think you're forgetting about the magic shop. <laughs> that's why it's not just, it's the magic shop, Esmeralda. The, it's it's the shops, st- I think, are better. All the things. And they have the fire hall and Walt, like Walt's apartment. Yeah, Walt's candle lit in the window, Walt's apartment. It is the original one. And yeah. if they did not take a lot of these things away from the Walt Disney World Main Street USA, I might still pick Walt Disney World, but taking away the magic shop and, and the Esmeralda yeah. area in the arcade, like a lot of stuff that they... made they, it less classic. They made it less classic. Yeah, exactly. It's not exactly. a thing, but okay. No, it is a thing. Disney World or Disneyland is still the classic Main Street USA yeah. feeling. You're walking down Main Street USA so, yes. and you want to feel, you want to feel like you're... For some reason, Dis- Disney World feels longer to me. I don't know if that's true or not. I've never actually looked that up. I it's think I will. It definitely after the feels episode. longer. It feels longer. But I do prefer, and even in Disneyland Main Street on the right side, you know where you do your silhouettes? There's yeah. a little porch with rocking chairs. You can actually, yeah. And people just sit down and chill there if you can get it's those more chairs. Relaxed. Like, it's, it's more like a Main Street. Yeah. Whereas the Disney World version feels more like theme park eyes to Main Street. Yeah, you know? but I, I mean, it's in a theme park. So. I know, but so is Disneyland. But, <laughs> but yeah. the thing, just little things like those, you know, little nooks to yeah. chill in a rocking chair. You can actually sit on Main Street in a rocking chair and a little sip bit a drink go and, a long way. and watch people go by. So it has that Main what Street. a fun feel. way to spend an afternoon watching people walk. Well, if I lived there and went every day, I would. <laughs> I would no. do that. Yeah, okay. If I could point. spend my time on Main Street USA, boy, that would be the life. All right. We're going to go back to a ride, and I'm going to I'm do... I'm convincing you to do three. I'm going to do a little double take on this. So first, I want to do this. Tower of Terror, Disney World, versus the old Tower of Terror at Disneyland. And then we're going to do Tower of Terror, Disney World, versus Guardians of the Galaxy, which is the new tower. So do you even remember, I have to ask you your, at your age, the yes, old Tower of Terror memory. at Disneyland? Yes, I remember it. And which, I remember, which one do you pre- did you prefer? I remember, and I remember liking it more than Disney World. I like Disney World's better. Now, see, I disagree because there's more drops in land. Well, I'm not, and, and for me, it's funny. You you always go to the thrill factor. I like the drops. I like this. Whereas I am always yeah. go to the show factor. No, no, no. Who cares about the show factor? Just close your eyes and then like the ride. See? So, uh, no. Then you don't even need to go to a Disney park. <laughs> you could just be at a theme park. For me, the Disneyland version, it did have sort of the cool family that, that you became they sort of disappeared but the disney world version the car actually moves out into the building and there was that really great article in popular mechanics that i someone sent you that shows how how the whole tower of attraction ride at walt disney world works so if anyone's listening and you haven't read it i tweeted it out it's a video oh yeah it's a it's a video right so it's it's a great it's a great behind the scenes uh popular mechanics really cool if you care about that sort of stuff but i do so I, I prefer, I liked them both, but I, I would have given no, the I edge. I like them both, and I like I like the show factor, but I think it's less creepy at Disneyland. Well, now it's all changed. So you preferred yeah. land before. Now yes. it's Guardians of the Galaxy versus Tower of Terror. Same building and drop. But, Guardians. But now the whole experience has changed. Oh, it's so now. Guardians. Why? You're going to tell me it's because of the show. No, well, first of all, it's because obviously you have to like the ride better, but the drops are the same, and I would still prefer Guardians to the old Tower of Terror. So Guardians out of the three Tower of Terrors, slash, out of the three right. rides that were there, yeah. I think Guardians is the best. Yeah, I, and I, I'm surprised that I liked Guardians as much as I do because <laughs> i was yeah i was it's the show it's the music the music it makes a huge difference yeah, it's, it's sort actors. of like rock and roller coaster yeah. and, or um in credit coaster it gets you pumped it gets you pumped all throughout the ride all the time you're dropping yeah. there's music going and there's much more of a show yeah. like in the disney world version you go to those areas where the, there's sort of nothing but yeah. there's always something when the doors open in front of you no but the thing is when you drop in like, the guardians sort of version just... Like, you're sort of just, like, dropping, which is fine, but it's, like, well, it's not silent because there's people screaming, but there's, like, there's nothing really going on. Like, you're not, like, excited yeah. to be dropping, but when there's music and you're, like, you're dancing and you're dropping and you're just having a really good time and then the ride ends because, yeah. they mean, they won't The Guardian's version is multiple senses, extra sensory. Yeah. 
it, it really it overloads you. And there's multiple is, different experiences yeah. too. So I would agree. So I do prefer that myself. Actually, I can't wait to go on that again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just open that part. All right, we're going to run out of time here, but we'll go quickly as we have a few more. This one I want to just quickly dismiss because it is not even a question. I was going to say downtown Disney versus Disney Springs. Springs all the way. It's like a little It's like a little strip, downtown Disney. Well, and the only thing I was going to say quickly is, I agree, Disney Springs has so much more, but I wanted to throw it in here because downtown Disney reminded me of the old Lake Buena Vista shopping village. Now, you know what? I think downtown Disney, I think I actually like it. I like it better because it is smaller, but I think Disney Springs has more. So I feel yeah, there's no question. But d- downtown Disney, you can't get lost. Yeah, but right? I just I just don't like walking, so I think it's great. There's a few stores that I like. There's a coffee house like that serves me sugary drinks. I'm good. I don't need to walk around for hours. Yeah, that's Disney Springs, though. Yeah. So, so I, li- I like them both, but I think Disney Springs has more. Disney Springs is like, like a better. theme park of shopping villages, yeah. <laughs> whereas downtown Disney is more quaint. And yeah, they're, 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 I guess they're too different to compare, but I wanted to throw it in just for fun. Mm. And then here's another one that these are, this next one, there's two left that I want to do. This yeah. next one is... I'm going to leave this one till the end. Okay. You want to do Galaxy's Edge yeah. quickly first? All right. We're going to do Galaxy's Edge. And, you know, it's so new and... We didn't get a ton of time in these because, of course, we got COVIDed out. But I actually am going to give... They're they're both great. They're both very similar. I'm going to give the edge to Disneyland's version. And I don't know if it's because we went there first before the one opened at Walt Disney World. But Rise. Rise is great at both. I know, but it's just it's like... I don't know. I can't choose. They're both the same. Yeah, they're both good. I'm just going. I'm just going the edge to Disneyland because I guess we were there. I guess I it's, might it's have to give it a ones. slight edge, but they're the same. Honestly, if you're in there, you can't. You can't tell if you're in California and I like the or Florida. Too. I like can't the. Tell. I like how you enter the Disneyland one yeah. a little bit better. I think. I, I yeah, I guess so because it's sort of more accumulated into the park versus they sort of just stuck it in Hollywood. Exactly. Because <laughs> yeah. I guess it's a film. It's Star Wars. I, I feel that. I feel the same way. Okay, and we're going to end on this yes. last one now. Now, this one, they're not exactly the same. It's sort of different, but I think it's but a good the comparison because comparison, they're the same sort of... The same type of and Not ride. the same type of ride, but they're the same um, like big thing at each respective park. Right, and what are we talking about? Uh, Incredicoaster versus Rock and Roller Coaster. Right. So, they're both the big roller coaster at the park, you yeah, know? Yeah, they're both. They're their only looping coasters currently. One is outdoors, one is indoors. Classic haters, please don't hate me, but I think Incredicoaster is better. Really? I Do you disagree? It. I still prefer, okay, I still prefer Rock and Roller Coaster because I think it's because the it's- theming is better. I know, I uh, and for me, for me, well, and they're going to change it off of Aerosmith at any point, I'm thinking. That's my yeah, feeling. They've already I'm, done it in Disneyland Paris. I but just like I think there's better of a show in the line. I think if they added like a little show with Violet and Jack-Jack and Dash and stuff, then I think I might like, they oh, just, they don't have enough of a no show. There's no pre-show, really. Yeah, like yeah. there's a story, but it, it's not Well, they added enough. that and there wasn't on California Screaming. So yeah. you like Incredicoaster better than California Screaming with all the enhancements. Do you or do you not? Ooh. No, I, th- I think I do. Yeah, I do as well. It's, it's the same ride. So I just, I think the story enhances it. And, you know, although I really like the music on California Screaming. The old music? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I miss that. We got it as a ringtone, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the way they've got the scream tunnels now. I think the track and, is better and they've... on Incredicoaster. I think the track is better. I like Rockin' because it's in the dark. That's what I was going to okay, say. Okay, if you were blind and deaf, though, like if you could not see, could not hear just the track. Oh, that's harder. So yeah, Incredicoaster, Incredicoaster. as its name, it's, see? I don't know. I'm not, I'm going to have to think about it and I'm not committing an answer in You're this com- episode. It's just like you committed to old TOT. If you couldn't feel, an- if you couldn't see anything or hear anything, you'd prefer the TOT that drops more. Well, the difference similar is. Similar to Pirates. Incredicoaster is more coaster-like. So there's, yeah, a, there's long, coaster. easy turns before you go into the fast turns and the loop. Yeah. Whereas Rockin' is short turns and lots of looping, right? Also, Rockin' Cork- jerks my head around and I always get a headache. It is much more hurtful, which is why I'm sorry, but I just... That's true. Because it's more coaster-like at Incredicoaster, it is easier on the body, I'll have to say. But they're both really good. We love them both. So... 
that is our head to head. I'm There's sure we've missed some things, but uh, you know, I want to hear what people think. And maybe yeah. I'll do some polls this week with this episode so we can vote. I'm curious to see what people think on some of these yes. uh, as we do the episode. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts. Mm, and yes. thank you again for listening to this episode of 1923 Main Street. Follow yes. us on Twitter and everywhere else at yes, 1923 Main Street. we are everywhere. And make sure to check out our new shop on Redbubble and Tee Public. Yes, we are 1923mainstreet.redbubble.com. We got lots of uh, Disney-inspired designs. So we go to sort of low-key, like yeah. Disney people get it. So check and us also out. check out our Patreon page. Yeah. Don't and both forget. of those help to support the show. Patreon.com slash 1923 Main Street. Or just tell your friends about it. That helps us too. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah, so listen. Thanks and have a magical day. Bye-bye.